Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Satisfactory. My last guide, I think it was three years ago, so we're going to update it. Uh, we're going to start by optimizing Windows, and after that we'll go in, in the NVIDIA parameter, and after that we're going to optimize the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings, and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture. Capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then uh, with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now in the video settings, so a lot of things change if we're comparing with my last guide. I'm going to start by the display option over there. So first of all, resolution, make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor. 
super important to play full screen. I had like some weird stuttering in window full screen. Uh, graphic API, we're going to go with 12. You can definitely ask uh, Vulcan. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit better depending on the video card that you're currently using. But I test my RTX 2070 and also test my 4090. And honestly, Direct, uh, uh, Direct X12 was the best. Uh, max FPS, I just go unlimited to have the lowest input lag possible. But of course, you can lock it. You're not playing Valorant. So if you have thermal issues, sometimes it's just better to lock your FPS. So just look at this. After that, we're going to go to the uh, performance and graphic settings. So texture quality, 8 gig and more of VRAM go with ultra, 6 gig high, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig go with low. Shadow quality, this one is pretty huge with the far shadow trace distance. I recommend to go near with this one and low for this one. You can expect a nice 20% boost in your FPS, so this is pretty huge over there. Post processing, I recommend to go with low. Honestly, when you go medium, high, or even ultra, the game looks very uh, blurry. So my recommendation is go with low. And pretty much the same thing with anti-aliasing. Uh, the game looks a lot better without it. Uh, but honestly, anyway, if you're using DLSS, it will be deactivated. So you will not even using it. Foliage load distance, I recommend to go with near. You're going to gain a nice 4% boost over there. VFX quality, foliage, light quality, and view distance. Those one at medium, you will keep a, a decent qual image quality and you will have a nice FPS boost. View distance can take your FPS at far or even ultra. So I'm not uh, recommending to do that. Just go with medium with this one. Cloud quality, I recommend to go with low. Uh, at off, it will be very flat. And uh, honestly, at low, you don't see a big difference between low, medium, and high. And you will have a decent amount of FPS at low. Motion blur, make sure that you uncheck. You don't want to use that. And core warrior visual quality, go with medium. After that, on the advanced section, you have a lot of different options. So for sure, if you have an RTX card, go with DLSS. The They're using the uh, 3.7.1. So it's a good one. It's an ad updated one. So go with DLSS. And the weird for the upscaling method, uh, you have a couple of options over there. Uh, quality, balance, performance. Honestly, quality is at uh, 9 but my recommendation is go at 80 it will be between the uh, balance and the quality uh, at 80 honestly you will have a, a decent amount of fps like 16 percent boost and also uh you're going to keep a nice uh, image quality and you can do the same thing if you don't have an rtx car we go with fsr and put the screen percentage at 80 convoyer belt if you have a pretty bad cpu i recommend to go with cap at 30 and also a 60 if it's a little bit better but if you know that you're bottlenecking because of your cpu over there make sure that you lock this one up Curve warrior belt render distance i recommend to go with near those uh, last ones so uncheck everything over there i'm not using vsync to have the lowest input lag possible i don't really mind about tiering and i don't even have tiering honestly in this game you can use technology like g-sync or free sync if you don't like those tiering and honestly you're not playing valorant so uh, if you don't like those tiering line you can definitely activate your vsync global illumination this one take a lot your fps so my recommendation is going with off you're gonna gain a nice 10 percent boost over there the last one is your field of view. If you go too high with this, you're going to lose FPS. So if you're very limited with your build and you're struggling to run this game, don't go too crazy. It's something like 120. Start at 90. Do the old guide. And if you're still struggling, maybe lower a little bit your field of view. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, satisfactory guide in 2024. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.